I'm back with Mass Effect 2. I'm about to do some crew dogs and then some shopping. That's the plan for this episode. I know, exciting, exciting. We have a lot of people now to talk to, I believe. Let's see how this goes. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Later. I'd like to consider what we've already discussed. Damn it. I oh, okay. I shall return to my meditations. Good start, good start. It would be funny if no one has anything to say. Anything. Tomorrow. Shepard, how are you? Perhaps we could speak later. Oh my, okay. Of course. She's still wearing dead armor. I could throw in some music in the background. Just because, you know, it's kind of empty. Let's draw it. Good. That's kind of hot in this room. I put on the headset and I'm immediately feeling like I'm gonna sweat any second now. So we gotta get the headset off. And uh, Miranda. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. You remember what I told you about father building a dynasty? There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. So you think your father's tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical, but she deserves a normal life and she's going to get it no matter what. Did your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nose Astra docking bay. Hello, Dimensions. Once you originally stationed on Horizon. A lot of them won't yes. be done. If I hadn't joined Cerberus, so I'd be abducted by the collectors right now. Wow. It really dodged a bullet. Okay, there's... Yeah, Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Already? Yeah. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Nobody has something to say. That's weird. I thought they were gonna have more to say. Oh, I'm probably after the loyalty quests. Garrus is already calibrating. It's one of the fewest conversation pieces in this game, especially. Which is weird. And she, he is around since forever. Forever. Jack, I like that outfit. Good choice. Hey. What do you think of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob doesn't know who he is, but that's not my problem. Miranda's a Cerberus bitch. Knew that before she opened her mouth. What do you think of our mission? I don't care. I'm out to survive it, then cut loose. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. If they're helping you, that's good enough for me. Don't be my buddy. You need me to kill for you, I need you for these files. Let's leave it there. Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names. Dates. Places. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy's gonna be a lot emptier when I'm done. Lovely zoom in. I won't let you go on a killing spree. I'm here for your mission. After that, what I do is my business. What's your history with Cerberus? 
They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm gonna chase them. You think about this a lot, don't you? I go to sleep with this. I wake up with it. Everyone I kill, I pretend it's the ones that did this to me. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. You know, <laughs> this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate. Live like a queen. I could help. What the hell is this? Actually, I've never experienced this. I've never talked to Jack much. I hate her normal outfit. Yeah, okay. She just jumps on the table and my neck is glitchy. Cool, cool. We have to stop the collectors. I don't have time for piracy. When this is done, we'll either be dead or out here in space with this ship. Think about it. Lots of creds. Freedom to go wherever you want. And all the mayhem and fighting I could want. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Simple. I should go. Yep. Lovely talk. That was actually cool, cinematic-wise and weird conversation-wise. Should have more talks with her. Interesting person. Okay. That conducts more business here. Who talks quicker than I thought? I thought it's gonna be a Jacob long episode. Wants to speak with you, Commander. Jacob, no. I mean, I'm gonna have to. Still, no. Where am I? Convict, Ilium, help recruit Warlord. And recruit Tali. Oh, yeah. That's gonna be up in the future. Chanka, we're just here for shopping. To be honest, here for shopping in that mini game. So I get my credits, my vestments easier. Oh. Wait, how much do I have? I didn't even probe a single planet. I believe I didn't download the probing mod yet. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yep, I want the woman armor. Let's go down. Enjoy the, the junk our sightseeing tour. The view of the planet. We got... The weird outfits, the both of them. Three points, I'm gonna go energy drain next. Shockwave all the way. A little bit of pulling. Shockwave is actually good. Damn, the armor is gigantic. Okay. Maybe there's some good new guns there. I don't remember. Citadel has the most things. That's the next shopping goal. If I have enough breads for the Sipatel. Citadel shopping too. I'm sweating. It's too hot. Damn it. <laughs> T-shirt is off too now. Good. Do we take a group photo? Band photo. Fake. Eh. Just the two of us. Bad light here. Good. If you're looking for work, you're shouting down the wrong hole. The Stop right there, alien. You're Shepard of the Normandy. What did I tell you, honey? Isn't it beautiful? Far away from all that high tech noise. I guess. Seems a bit dirty, though. Ah, oh, it builds character! Is it just me, or do the other Krogan not like me? Oh, there's some concern about me bringing in a non-Krogan. I had to talk to the Chief a little. It's not a deal. Wait, so address. they don't even want me here? Who cares what they want? I want you. That's all that matters. 
dress on the trunk of them. They didn't prepare. I don't know if I can do this, Char. Hey, now. My blue rose of Ilium always stands strong to reach toward the sun. Okay, I'll manage. Just no more poetry. Beautiful world. The clan leader wants to speak with you. Talk to him soon, alien. If we decide you're not welcome, you'll know just before we kill you. Oh. All I need now is a lasso of truth. And the weapon actually does something similar to that. Show those to boss. Damn right. Tear their scales off and let the Pijaks feast on them while they're still alive. <laughs> ah. Um, biotic ability in Mass Effect 3, or oh, maybe even 4. For the multiplayer. Why do you have that for the multiplayer? Okay. The female camps and Counted 13 guards since we came in. They afraid someone's gonna invade this planet? The less they have, the more they want to protect it. Well, no, not Watch that. Watch it, human. Eyes straight ahead. That's what I want. At first, I thought it was a waste of ammunition just to kill incoming vermin. Now, I think if these Erdnot can pinpoint such small mammals with these guns, they'll make short work of an incoming invasion force. You. What do you want, human? Rex told me to be polite. He didn't say you were going to talk to me. So you're in charge of Erdnot scouts. Why waste your time shooting at vermin? Ammunition is the one thing we're not hurting for on Tachanka. As scout commander, I have to set an example. Plus, the little bastards get into food supplies if their numbers get too high. Can't have that. You see a lot of action around here? Enough. Varen here and there, and snakes in any of the water safe enough to drink. Rex has made ceasefire agreements with some of the clans, but I still have to patrol, keep them honest. What does a scout commander do? We find out where the enemies are, and we make them think that there are too many of us to screw with. Sometimes that means harassing the perimeter, taking out a generator or two. Other times, we play hide and seek. We leave lots of tracks, exaggerate our numbers. That's not recon, that's sabotage. It's a lot easier to count their numbers once you blow some of them up. Everyone knows where Erdnot is, human. It's not like we can hide. So every clan on Tachanka encroaches on the other clan's borders? Borders? This is Tachanka. Our borders are determined by the range of our guns. We are what we are, human. If we didn't fire at them, they wouldn't take us seriously. Don't your storehouses have automated defenses? Why bother? Half of what we eat is vermin. And if we get hold of defense systems, we don't use them to guard grain. We've got weapons stockpiles to take care of. Beyond that, our women and children get the security. Your enemies go after civilians? Easiest way to wipe out a clan. Women and kids can't fight, but they're always outnumbered if another clan goes after them. If it's women and children are killed, a clan's hope for the future is lost. It falls apart. We don't do that, though. Rex's orders. Even if it costs us a battle, we don't fire on non-combatants. Taking care of your food supply would help more in the long run. If Clan Jordan kills our guards and helps itself to our well-secured food, there won't be a long term. This is Tachanka. Having power and clean water means we're living in luxury. Thanks for the information. Whatever. Do I need to do Talk to the girl upstairs to get that side mesh of pudding. Little monkeys. Maybe. One of the children Let's go upstairs. Five years from the right. See. Yeah, he gives us that mission. Good boy. Big Varen. Stay. Greetings, human. My name is Ratch. Have a look at what I've got. 
Everyone I talk to hates that aliens are an Erdnot. Except you. I don't have the luxury of turning away paying customers. I do enough business off-world to know that you aliens have more credits than people here do. What do you have in stock? Most of it's food and drink that's toxic to humans. Rincall's a local favorite. Don't try to act tough, it'll tear your insides apart. Otherwise, I've got weapons, scrap, and whatever food those pie jocks don't steal. Which isn't much. Take a look at my kiosk over there if you want to buy something. What the hell is a pie jack? Off-world vermin. Humans say they're like monkeys. They come in and steal food, ring call, whatever they can get their talons on. We started using the mounted defense cannons to stop them. I'm a good shot. Maybe I can help out with the pie jacks. Feel free. You can use the console out there to control the guns. Make a dent in the pie jack population, and you get a discount. Good luck with that. I should go. Suit yourself. Now I'm gonna do that off screen. We'll go. And uh, buy stuff here. Um, let's talk to the doctor first. Only if I get a discount for punching. Buy Jack up there. My Varen is hungry. Do I look like I have time to talk? I've got work to do. Those fools brought this Tomka back from a skirmish without its combustion manifold. They say it got shot off in the field. You tell me. How can you expect a Tomka to run without a combustion manifold? Um, Let me get out of your way. Don't do me any Let favors. Me do that. Anyways. I'm <clears throat> gonna do that. Did you be in here? Is his kiosk? Who are you? I am Fortak, Lord High Researcher in Matters Scientific for Clan Erdnot, and I don't have time to answer your inane questions. I won't take up much of your valuable time. My work is very important, human. Of course it is. I'm just curious. I'd heard a lot about the genius of Krogan's science. <sighs> oh, finally, someone understands. I swear, I am among brainless piejacks here, toiling among savages. I am the Lord High Researcher. You must be working on something important. I was building the biggest, best offensive ordinance yet. A real ground pounder. But the new clan leader wastes my time with frivolous research. Crop genetics, medicinal improvements. We can buy that stuff from the Salarians. The Salarians? The designers of the Genophage. Yeah, yeah. What else can the Salarians do to us at this point? It's not like they can make us even more infertile. Actually, wait, forget I said anything. I take it you're a scientist. I used to be a scientist. I designed weapons. Now my genius is wasted on frivolous things. Things that don't explode. My predecessor said no one would understand the true worth of my work. As I pulled my blade from his chest, I knew he was telling the truth. Not exactly what I would call effective academic peer review. I don't care what you'd call it. We value the will to use what we create. Not just the ability to create it. We don't count success until the ground shakes in response. Enjoy your research. Yes, yes, move along. Okay. No, oh, that's expensive. Just damage. Oh, I do use heavy pistols. This might be useful. Oh, that's already too damn too expensive. Too damn expensive. These things okay. would last long if they didn't hit every crater. You in One second. Step, Let's do this. And got it here because that's the most boring thing. Ever. We got it. We got I lost it. half my st seeing those vermin roasting in the heat from an explosive shell. I swear it was glorious. It was a lot of fun. Help yourself to more. There's no shortage of pie jocks out there if you get a craving for violence. I'll give you a discount at my store. Anything you want, you buy at cost. I should go. Suit yourself. Let's see. Yes. Um. Death mask. 
Very nice. Give me. Yes, I need you. I'll take it. Sure. And I'm already almost broke. Let's see if I can buy something at Dota Peep. Pe I just oh. wish. I don't know. Things could be different. We could live together. Us. I might have to equip those. You must wait till the clan leader summons you. He is in talks. You know what tradition demands. Clan Erdnot must respond. Your reforms will not go unopposed. You risk appearing weak at a critical time. Shepard. Good enough? Excuse me. <clears throat> Out of my... Shepard! My friend. You look well for dead, Shepard. Should have known the Void couldn't hold you. Looks like helping me destroy Saren and the Geth has worked out for you. Glad we didn't have to kill each other on Vermeer. Huh. You made the rise of Erdnot possible. Vermeer was a turning point for the Krogan, though not everyone was happy about it. Destroying Saren's genophage cure freed us from his manipulation. I used that to spur the clans to unify under Erdnot. You abandoned many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. Speak when spoken to, Uvenk. I'll drag your clan to glory whether it likes it or not. Now, Shepard, what brings you here? How's the Normandy? Destroyed in a collector surprise attack. I ended up spaced. Well, you look good. Ah. The benefits of a redundant nervous system. Yeah, humans don't have that. Oh, it must have been painful then. But you're standing here, and you've got a strong new ship. Takes me back to the old days. Us against the unknown. Killing it with big guns. Good times. I'm looking for a Solarian. He was captured by the Blood Pack and brought here. My scout commander can direct you. He's probably near the perimeter running target practice. Don't take too much of his time. I need a constant watch on the other clans. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We are making a neutral ground where all clans are welcome. Fertile females can be shared among clans. We will strengthen the race as a whole. You threaten everything that makes us strong. It will not last. Maybe. Until then, you're lucky to be a part of it. How do you maintain security with so many different clans in one place? Any clan willing to send in hostages can come in. No fighting inside the camp. Each clan punishes its own criminals. We stop conflicts before anyone dies. Then we present a simple choice. Pay a fine and deal with your problems, or your clan is no longer welcome. That doesn't sound very harsh by Krogan standards. Allies from other clans like what I'm doing. They help deal with skeptics. Many are eager for an outlet. Every time I've declared a clan unwelcome, my allies have destroyed them. Word gets around. What's so important about maintaining individual clans? Every clan has different customs. Rites of passage, rules of behavior, battle songs. All unique. That diversity makes us great. No clan, not even mine, was meant to survive on its own. Erdnot is the leading clan. Doesn't that make your culture primary? For now. But every clan has its unique assets. The best tacticians are Erdnot. Chorgal has the longest breeding line. Gadatog holds the oldest settlement. Others have their own strengths. We keep going how we are. The clans will end up as craters under nuclear haze. Even or not. We need to rethink. Restart. What do the women of Clan Erdnot think about this plan? It was our female clan leader's idea. The neutral area is safe, and it encourages more female clans to ally with us. Attacks on Erdnot now endanger the females of all clans. Even clans that want to see me dead will defend Clan Erdnot. Your women have their own clan structure? Nothing is more valuable than a fertile female. 
We know it. They know it. They isolate themselves for their own protection. We work together to set up breeding alliances. I can hardly do anything without Clan Leader Yuta's approval. Well, this sounds ambitious. How's it gone so far? Better than I'd feared. Worse than I'd hoped. It can't continue. You are going against what makes us strong. Sounds like you're not making friends. Traditionalists like Uvenk are chained Varen. Always fighting, guiding their pathetic stick in the ground. When the smoke clears, I can plant the flag on their corpses and rally the rest around a new Krogan hub. Sounds like you're counting on a lot of bloodshed even after you unite. It will be slow, but I won't change what we are. Krogan are judged by the strength of our enemies. Our worst insult is to say someone's not worth killing. I need to go. We'll go over this another time. Watch yourself, Shepard. Tuchanka isn't safe and homey like Pharaohs and Ilos. Anything else to say? How about you? I have nothing to say to aliens. Shepard, what can I do for you, my friend? Okay. Good to see you, Rex. Sure you can't come with us? Wish I could. But I need to keep these short-sighted fools in line. Hunt well, Shepard. No, just the poetry mate. Okay, I'm gonna look at the vendor one more time. I will not do Chunka side quest. Place your bed it on should the be pitch. Only to Chunka visit. More shock absorption. Those bodies. <sighs> yeah. The reaction. Yeah. So well. Oh. Barely. Barely. This looks interesting. And we're broke. Your picks could damage. Hopefully, you check the ammo. Weird and goofy as hell. The been a bloodbath ever since Urza's handler was exiled. What the hell is what? Sounds German. Upstairs, that side quest stuff. I didn't even hunt. Have Grunt yet? Didn't even hunt for Grunt. Yeah. Okay, sprint, Shepard. Sprint. Yeah. And the Solarians too. Just wants to go through the worst outfits of my new squad Take mates. Your business to the clan leader. Already took the business to him. Norman Deck. Let's get out of here. Recruit, readjust. I could recruit, actually. Grunt. Start it. Back. Where is Gaunt's Warlord? Thought he's lost, really. Oh well. Since this is Grogan themed, I'm just gonna jump in there with my Wonder Woman armor so I'll wear it one more time. Go down the chrome. We got check with this weird outfit. We could take care of with us. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's a weird combi. So nothing has changed. No, you. The fallen axe is new. I need butter and cheese. Jesus. The dossier doesn't say if Okir is on this planet by choice. Assume hostiles. There is only one measure of success. Kill or be killed. Uh, my package is here. Cut. <laughs>